Anthony. Her defence has improved a lot, but the real strength of Heather is her work rate in training. Her concentration in training is really, really impressive. And I think that was one of the key factors in Anthony choosing to play with Heather, was the, was the good work ethic that she's got. Yeah, it was indecision from Lee Young Day. By the time he decided to play, he let the shuttle drop too low. That's why he made the error. The other interesting thing with Heather is that a, a little bit of a late developer, but she's gone a route that a lot of our players used to go, where she's got her Six, university education seven. out of the way first before going into full-time badminton. So although, uh, although she's a little bit older than some of the other players we've got coming through, she's got a good education behind her, she's full-time now, she's got a nicely balanced lifestyle, and she's really improving very, very rapidly with this opportunity to play with Anthony. Yeah, and certainly that was a world-class shot Seven. from her there. She's not that old, she's not 24 yet, not for another four days. has somewhat booked the trend recently though with a lot of our players wanting to go full-time out of school and Heather went that university route and managed to balance the the academic life with keeping a badminton going and now she's getting the reward for that. Call's good. Service over. Eight. Yeah, that was a very good run of five points from the English pair. Yes, and of course, Eight. these Super Series events, quarterfinals like this, I mean, it's a different pace that, from what Heather will normally have been used to prior to teaming up with Anthony Clark. Nine. This is where the communication's got to be good. Anthony's got to be talking to her continually in this game, keeping her going, keeping her confident, keeping her going for the right shot. No big backswing of the racket. Ten. Short Nine. sharp movement. No, and again, early in the match, Anthony attacking the centre to put Heather in very, very good position, setting it up for her, building her confidence up. Very, very good play. Serve! Serve, it's over. Yeah, and that's the speed of shot that... Ten. All. Perhaps she's not used to. defence. Well, she's proved me wrong. Wonderful defensive play. Service over. 11, and 10, it's the English interval. pair that go to the mid-game interval with a one-point advantage. I wonder they're pleased with that. Julian Robinson. Things will come up. All right, Heather. Now keep looking to cut out everything. Yeah? Serve and return. First four shots is clinical. Right. Much better critical. speed laterally, yep. Clark. Yeah. yeah. Angles is really good. Keep mixing up the attack. Have the variety. All right. Excellent work. Cut the first one because after she's lifted, the winners from the front of the court. Yeah. 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 What was really good there and really positive is Heather actually contributing to the coaching there, making comments, getting involved. That's a very positive sign, I think. And both English players wearing black armbands. Right. With respect for the very sad and sudden death of the chairman of Badminton England earlier this week, Mike Certain. Oh. Badminton family here very much. Our Phillips are with the family. What a wonderful tribute it would be if the English players could progress further 
in this tournament, the 100th All England Championships. It's a great shot. Well, the shuttle hit the top of the tape, deflected it, making it very difficult to control the return. Oh, that's a clever, clever smash, isn't it? Right towards that left shoulder. Precision, making it so difficult for the left-handed Anthony Clark. Yeah. Often with an elbow injury, you, it makes you think a little bit more about where you're attacking. You're not going to go for the 100% smash every time, and that was a great example. Not 100% in terms of energy put into it, but excellent placement. Come on! Come on! And of course, the understanding between the two English players, who takes the one, hit down the centre of the court. Total miss hit from Lee Yong Day. Sound is over. 14, 13. Oh. Yeah. Well, the crowd, like me, a gasp because Sound's I thought over. that the initial drop shot from Anthony Clark, that was played to perfection, oh. really set. Over up at the front of the court. She's got to forget that, though. On with the next rally. I think it's really important that Heather stays positive here and keeps going for those shots, though. I don't want to see her starting to hide and not, not stand up and take her share of the shots, and she's got to be brave here. It really is lethal when she does take it early. She's a very tall lady, is Lee Ho Jung. 1 meter 81, that's just over 5 foot 11. Oh, pushed it long. 17, and this is the experience 14. of the Koreans, isn't it? 13, 14 down, four straight points. And at this stage of a game, that's, that seems so important. 17, 14. Oh, that's brilliant net shot from Lee Ho Jung. Once you let her take the shuttle early in the forecourt, it's very, very difficult to get the attack back. Very experienced, always in the right place, and very, very good serving here, you're seeing. Yes, yeah, well that, I'm sure, will do her confidence the world of good. 15, 18. It's very good, the tendency there for the girl when you've just missed one or two shots is to stay in the middle of the court. But Heather stepped out, was very positive, took the straight and was aggressive. Very, very good sign. Yeah, slight confusion as to which player should be receiving it is Leon.